Hello and welcome on Thomas Geiger car. Today with the new Mercedes AMG 35, the new entry model out of Affalterbach. A car that bridges the gap between the powerful but still very serious A250 and the bit show-off A45. And a car that is supposed to deliver lots of fun to drive. If you want to know if that's true, Join me on my test drive and I'll tell you more about it. The smaller the streets, the tighter the turns, the bigger the fun. That's how to sum up the A35 AMG. With its all-wheel drive, you don't have to care about the surface and about the weather. You just drive and go. And as long as you're in the comfort mode, it is pretty relaxed and the traction control and the stability control are taking good care of you. If you change to sports or sports plus setting, the car is getting a bit wild, wilder. It is louder, you have this roar, you have some fake ignitions, you have some nice sounds when the gear is shifted and the traction control and stability control are really letting loose. So the car is developing its own dynamics and the thrill is getting bigger. And once you go up with a pretty decent speed, you don't miss an A45 or a C63. You just go and enjoy. The A35 is powered by a 2-liter 4-cylinder engine with a turbocharger that comes up to 306 horsepower and 400 newton meters. Not as powerful as we know it from the A45 that comes up to 381 horsepower, but still enough power to have lots of fun while driving. 0 to 100 in 4.7 seconds means you can keep up with a real sports car for a pretty long time. The only problem is if you go full throttle, you will end up at 250 kilometers power. No way to go faster, even if the car would have the power to because the open limit is reserved to the proper, to the big AMG models. Design-wise, the A35 is pretty close to the production model, not so far off as the A45. This car is really bold and playing with its muscles and showing off. The A35 is a bit more relaxed and a bit closer to the volume models. We have, nevertheless, a different grille with a double wing blade and we have a fancy little rear spoiler that is looking pretty cool if you see the car from the back. And we have for sure shiny, glossy, bold colors that makes everybody turn his heads. The A35 is somehow showing us the dark side of the A-Class. Black interior, black bucket seats and a different graphics for the widescreen cockpit. A bit more sporty, a bit more aggressive, a bit more race car feeling. We also have a different steering wheel that really helps a lot because it's good to grab and we have lots of dark details making the car a bit more aggressive, a bit more dynamic. With the A35 we also get the new AMG sports steering wheel that we know from the GT four-door coupe. We already talked about the perfect grip. Now I like to attract your attention to these two little satellites coming out of the central of the steering wheel. That somehow reminds me on the Manettino as we know it from Ferrari. It's beautifully grafted, better than for example in the Porsche 911 and I have a display in every switch as well. With the right one I can change the drive mode from Comfort to Sport and Sports Plus. The two left buttons are individually to be set up. In this case we use it for switching off the stability control and for changing from automatic 
to manual shifting. The good thing is you can keep the hands on the wheel, keep the eyes on the road and you will not be distracted while you're driving sporty and aggressive. Thanks for joining me on that first review with the new Mercedes AMG 35. A hot hatch in the best way of the meaning. A car that really gets your heart beating, that raises your blood pressure and that is just a lot of fun to drive. And compared to the AMG 45, it is just a tiny bit less expensive, a bit more affordable, so more fun for a broader appearance. Thank you, tschüss and bye bye.